Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. The title of our project is Detecting and Resolving Firewall Anomalies from the Domain Secure Computing. Firewall can either be software based or hardware based and is used to keep a network secure. Its primary objective is to control the incoming and outgoing network traffic by analyzing the data packets and determining whether it should be allowed through or not. In firewall, there are many administrators are written the rules for the file transmission. A, file, a firewall policy consists of a sequence of rules that define the actions performed on the packets that satisfy the condition. For updating the number of rules information, the firewall may conflict together with another one. If conflicting occur means file transmission will not be succeed. So we have to rectify the conflict for successful transmission. Several related works categorized different types of firewall anomalies. There are shadowing, generalization, correlation, and redundancy. The effectiveness of security protection provided by a firewall mainly depends upon the quality of policy configured in the firewall. To overcome this, we provide an policy anomaly management framework for firewalls. Adopting a rule-based segmentation technique to identify policy anomalies and resolving. Now I'm going to show the flow diagram of our project. So this is the flow diagram of our project. For our project we have two level, level 0 and level 1. In level 0, this is the firewall. In firewall, number of administrators can uh, do the different types of actions like rule generating, updating conflicted rules and reordering rules. <coughs> In rule generating, the admin first define a new rule to insert and then updating conflicted rules in which uh, the already updated rules may conflict one to another. So the admin find and then update the conflicted rules. The depending upon the conflicted rules, the updated rules are reordered. So this is level 0. After that level 1. In level 1, we will show the file transformation process. In file transformation process, the end user first select one file to send. In firewall concepts, every files are encrypted and then only can send. So the selected file is encrypted. The encrypted file is next sent to the rule engine. In rule engine, we compared with the updated rules. So we have to first view the conflicted rules and then conflicted rules are reordered here. So depending upon the reordering, risk value is generated. Regarding that risk value, uh, the condition is evaluated. If the condition is allow means file can be decrypted and received. If the risk value shows deny action means file cannot be decrypted and viewed by the End user. Now I'm going to show the demo of our project. So this is our project. We have to run. In our project, we have five modules: the rule generation, conflicted rule updating, and transferring the file, rule engine, and analysis. So this is the rule generation. Um, generally administrators are uh, creating the new rule so he first log in to inserting the rule so he, after filling the username and password he is going to be logged in and then we can view the pages rule generation so in rule generation he first he give the rule name uh, using what protocol he can send is declared after that source IP address and then source port number so destination IP address and the destination port. After filling this, um, the admin can declare the action as whether it is allow or deny. So after filling this information, he will uh, click the insert button means the rule will be updated. Um, he can view the already updated rules by clicking the button view. So he can, we can view already here. There are uh, eight rules are updated. So this is uh, rules and then what type of protocols 
and then source IP address source port destination IP address and destination port and then action whether it allow or deny so this information all uh, available in the rule generation so after generating the rule if the rule is if one rule is conflicted with other rule means the admin uh, have to find and then update the conflicted rules so this admin also login with different username and password so after login he can view the conflicted rules page here he must declare what type of a conflicted rule is depending upon so uh, uh, we have uh, there are four types of anomalies we can view um, for example shadowing generalization correlation and redundancy for example uh, shadowing means a rule can be shadowed by one or a set of preceding rules that match all the packets which also match the shadowed rule which they perform a different action in this case all the packets that one rule intends to deny can be accepted by the previous rules thus the shadowed rule will never be taken effect in our project uh, in already updated rule rule 4 is uh, shadowed by rule 3 because rule 3 allows every TCP packet coming from any port of the source address to the port 25 of destination address which is supposed to be denied by the rule 4 so uh, um, in this cases uh, these rules are coming under by the shadow so uh, he will update the the shadowed rule uh, detail are uh, filling by the admin and then he will declare the action as allow or deny after uh, filling this information he will uh, click update rule so this rule coming under by the um, conflicted rule so this is the file transmission button uh, by using this a user can transfer the file from one user to the another mm, so this is the uh, file transfer page here the one user can set the channel first after that which file he want to send is browsed by the user he select one text file after that he will open that file so after opening this we can view the content uh, which is in the text file list we can view uh, in the firewall every file is encrypted encrypted first after that only uh, transmit to the end user so we have to encrypt first so now the content is encrypted we can view this in the file also so now this file is in this format by this format only sent to the user the file so after encrypted the file he sent so now the file is come to the whole engine so for that file he can view the shadowing and the correlation and redundancy that different type of firewall anomalies uh, he can view by clicking shadowing so for shadowing he can uh, view there are four rules are shadowed and then correlated and then redundancy so this type of rules are firewall anomalies for that file alga alg and then reordering rules so these rules are updated by the one administrator so after viewing this he can calculate one risk value so risk value is calculated by depending upon the risk value only the end user can uh, decrypt it and then view the file so now he received information as depending upon the risk value he cannot receive the file For another type of file the risk value is again calculated so now the risk value is 16 so he can now browse the file to receive so this is the encrypted file he can open it's open in the encrypted format so after he, uh, he click the decrypt button means it will show the original message this is the analysis button uh, here the chart is drawn between the resolution rate and the evaluation of risk value so by clicking this we can view the graph yes. thank you